All right, friends, at this point, your loom should look like mine with your warped um, brown string that that is going to serve as the string that we actually weave on. So right now, I'm going to give you three ways that you can start weaving. Everyone's going to get a long piece of green string. The string that we're using has different values of green, which is going to give a cool effect to your tree once you are finished weaving it. The thing you need to know most about weaving is going under and over under and over under and over it's a pattern and we're going to keep that pattern even when you turn to make another row so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start on one side of my tree and i'm going to start by going under and over on my desk there are also going to be some plastic weaving needles these needles aren't very sharp but we still are using them with care in the art room when we use this you can either use your needle if you want one to just lift up your strings to be able to get your fingers under there, or you can also string your needle as if we were sewing by putting your string through the hole at the end, pulling it through, and then just wrapping it around. You don't even have to do a full knot if you just wanna wrap it and then put your tail through. Then your string will be attached to your needle. This is really the easiest way to weave, um, to be able to get under and over. However, when we use your needle, if you want to use one, you're gonna be tempted to go fast because using a needle does help you work faster. However, the faster you go, the more prone to mistakes you are to make. So when we do this, if you want to use your needle, and if you want to tie it to the edge, you can. If not, you can just use your fingers and put it under and over like this. That will work too. It's your choice. So I'm going to show you the needle method. So I have my needle, and we know that weaving focuses on over and under, over and under. So you can start your first row however you want. If you want to start with it under or if you want to start with it over, that's up to you. I'm going to start under on my first brown string, and then my next brown string I'm going over under the next one, over. I start pulling it through. So this one I went over, now I'm going under, over, under, over, and then I'm gonna pull through. Now, friends, on your first string, your first line, we're gonna pull your string all the way through until we're left with a tail at the end. Now we don't want your tail to be too short because you might accidentally pull out the whole row. So just leave a little bit of a tail on your first row. If you forget to leave a tail, then you're gonna have to backtrack and loosen all the rows and it's gonna take a lot more time. So just leave a tail at the end so that way we can work with the string that you have. Now, this is probably gonna be the hardest part about weaving is when we go to our next row. So it's the same thing. Looking at where I ended on this row, I went over my brown string. So we're still following our pattern. So if I went over here, what do you think we're gonna start the next row as? If you were thinking under, you're right. So I'm gonna go under, over, under, over. Start pulling it through. So right here I went over, so now I'm going back. See it under, over, under, over, and I'm going to pull through. Now friends, we don't want to pull your weaving string too tight because then your tree is going to start getting really skinny. If you want a skinny tree, then you can pull it tight, but the weaving process is harder when the string is tighter. So I'm going to leave a little bit of slack in my string. I'm just going to push it down. We do want to leave room right here for your tree stump. So when we push it down, leave just a little bit of room for your tree stump. So right here, I ended with going over. So my next row coming around, I'm still gonna go under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. Pull through. Friends, we're gonna keep doing those steps 
of going under and over, pushing it down, pulling it through until our whole tree is woven in yarn.